Hi, Dr. Ariane from the Movement Paradigm. Are you experiencing jaw pain and you continue to seek solutions for your pain? However, you just can't seem to get to the bottom of it. Well, we're gonna talk today about three different reasons why you may have jaw pain. So the most common thing that you may be aware of is that you notice that you've been clenching or grinding, whether that's at night or that is during the day. Perhaps your dentist has told you that you've been grinding. So these are the more obvious things of potentially why it might be happening, but we of course wanna dig a little bit deeper. And so again, there's gonna be three main causes. Doesn't mean that these are the only, but these are the things that you wanna dive into as it relates to figuring out the underlying cause so that you can treat your jaw pain appropriately. So you can actually get to the root of it to be pain-free and live the best life that you can. So the most obvious one, number one, is stress. And this can lead to things like clenching and or grinding. This can also be associated with poor vagal tone or poor parasympathetic activity. So often these are associated and there's actually a correlation with the trigeminal nerve. And the trigeminal nerve can specifically act as a sympathetic as well as parasympathetic nerve. The trigeminal nerve actually innervates the skin of the face, the mucosa, the nasal cavity. And so it has a very deep connection with the vagal nerve or the vagus nerve. And so therefore it actually produces specific neurotransmitters. So when there's a dysfunction of the trigeminal nerve that can be associated with actually some mood issues and psych neuropsychiatric disorders. So again, when there's this miscommunication in these two nerves, often influenced by stress or trauma, then this can contribute to clenching and grinding. Number two is airway dysfunction, one of perhaps the biggest causes of this and always overlooked. So this could be an overbite, an underbite, poor tongue posture. Our resting tongue posture should be at the roof of our mouth, gently touching the top teeth. If it's resting on the bottom of the mouth, it's going to close our airway. It could be tonsil issues. It could be small nasal valves, deviated septum. So there's so many potential airway dysfunctions that could be contributing to your jaw pain. So it is very important that if you've had chronic jaw pain, that you have an excellent airway specialist to be able to help you figure out what is actually happening and what you may need to treat so that you can breathe better and move better, have better sleep, and so on. Number three is a compensation for a lack of stability somewhere else in the body. Most commonly, there's a deep connection to the pelvic floor. So if the pelvic floor is very overactive, if the pelvic floor is not sequencing, relaxing, and contracting the way that it should, then there can often be associations with the clenching and grinding within the jaw. And so not only that, but let's take the example of you were standing on one leg. And if you're trying to stand on like one leg and you're really out of balance, your body's gonna figure out some mechanism to figure out how to be safe. So now looking at all three of these potential root causes, we wanna realize that they are all different categories of things. So when you have jaw pain or any other pain for that matter, you really wanna dig deeper and deeper to find out why so that you can really treat the underlying cause so that you can be pain free, you can live an active lifestyle, you can breathe better, sleep better, eat better, all of the things, all the wonderful things that you deserve. So if this was helpful, please make sure to give it a like and a share. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Movement Paradigm, for weekly tips on mindset, nutrition, and movement. And if you need help on your journey, we would love the opportunity to help. So please reach out to us for a discovery session and we can help you get on the right path. Thank you as always.